Okay, what I'm wanting to illustrate or show here is the, uh, the circulation of the water by the use of a pump. Uh, when using the BAC organic nutrient, you definitely do not want to use an aerator. What will happen is the proteins in the, uh, the nutrient will form uh, bubbling, foaming, and you'll have scum around the side. Uh, the other thing I want to do as well is show you how to make up the nutrient for say a, a, a plant in third week flower uh, utilizing the PK organic booster as well. Okay there's about 35 litres of water in here. Uh, we're going to use a bit of organic bloom nutrient first up. A bit of a shake of the bottle and then we'll use uh, 2 mil per litre so we've got 30 mils in there so you'll probably need about 60 mil. So we've got about 40 mil there. Mix it around as such. Bit of the PK booster now, which is utilised anywhere from 10 to 30 mil or 1 to 3 mil per litre or 10 to 30 mil per 10 litre so we we'll use about 30 mil here okay and that's essentially the uh, organic nutrient component there satisfied for the water okay next uh, step essentially is to utilize the uh, bloom stimulator uh, BAC's bloom stimulator and what essentially that does is that uh, once in the water it activates beneficial bacteria and fungi but in the case of the uh, bacteria more like the actinomycetes and what they do essentially is to break down the nutrient, uh, the elements in the nutrient whether they be organic or inorganic to more of an ionic form so the plant can access that nutrient quicker and take it up a lot quicker as well. So just to illustrate it quick shake of the bottle and we've got about 30 mils in here oh sorry 30 litres so we're going to need about 3 mils and if I get a real good go on my pipette I might get up to 3 mils almost a little bit more and that is now uh, biologically activated with the uh, BAC stimulator Right, next step is uh, to utilize a bit of the enhancer range of uh, BAC, uh, which essentially is the proactive here. What is an amino based uh, solution, highly uh, concentrate at uh, 1 mil per 10 litres again. Uh, and what that will allow for is uh, improvement in the rhizosphere, uh, more root growth, as well as more uh, vitality with the, uh, the colour of the leaf, as well as the uh, flower forming. So it's pretty uh, imperative. If you're using drippers, uh, with organic nutrition anyway, you'd want to use the big pen style drippers. Uh, so they're not actually dripping out, it's coming out in a, uh, how would you say, more, more fluid. Uh, so it doesn't uh, allow for blockages. Okay, so proactive. I'm going to use about three mil. Bit of a shake, sorry, beforehand. We got up to uh, nearly three, three mils there. And that is basically it for a uh, organic nutritional requirement for a, a, a plant in about third week of flower. And just to uh, show you what the uh, tree looks like, nice and clear, just got that nice little colour and right for the plants to uh, enjoy. Right, the solution is already uh, pH buff with the actual organic nutrient, it's another beautiful thing about it. And you don't have to worry about a uh, salt meter or anything like that because it's organic. Uh, for more details about it, have a look on the BAC website, which you're probably looking at right now. And there's a PDF file on the organic uh, growth schedule as such. So, basically, all ready to go. Best utilised run to waste. And now we've got one happy plant.